It has a ghost. It has a witch. It has a creaking door. Even a library with a secret passage built into the wall. It's the Weebles Haunted House by Romper Room. Now, a lot of people have rediscovered this amazing toy in recent years. Collectors have retrograded back to when they were about two or three or four years old. They have stopped collecting things that they've already gotten the entire set of, let's say, Masters of the Universe or Star Wars, and they've gone back further like myself. And I'm really into this type of stuff. I love Fisher Price Little People and I love the Weebles, but I especially love this amazing haunted house. It's just packed with play features, accessories. This thing's great. Uh, let's stop talking about it and let me just show you what's going on. Secret hiding place, and that's not all. There's plenty more to see. Who calls a Weebles haunted house is a great place to be. Weebles haunted house, including glow in the dark Weeble ghost from Ramper Room. All right, this is a complete Weebles haunted house, and they're kind of tough to get complete because a lot of the little pieces, like this gate, for example, are often missing. So if you are looking for a complete one, make sure it has the gate. Make sure it has the handle for carrying. All right, it also acts as a carrying case. And the door, first of all, that opens up and you can go inside. Now, the way to get inside is, of course, by opening it up. And there are six rooms packed with fun play features. Uh, let's start over here where the witch just seems to be chilling out and listening to Janice Joplin. So there's the witch. Now, this witch is tough to find with the hat. The hat was made out of a rubber material that disintegrated quite easy. So I don't have the hat, but that's the witch. And she chills out on her 70s Chesterfield. And there's some really cool detailing in there as well. Really retro style artwork in the back. A couple witches chilling out, hanging out. Maybe her and her sister. And a really cool 70s hanging plant and lamp. All right, if you make your way over here, you're in the coolest room of the entire Weebles Haunted House, the library. And why is it so cool? Because you can take one of the kids and you can put them against this wall. And by turning the mechanism on the other side of the house, the wall will swallow you up. And there's a fun house mirror. Really cool. And, of course, you can... Uh, release them and I love the look of terror on this kid's face isn't that just a fun little feature up here we have the bedroom the Weebles haunted house came with uh one bed and two scared kids we have the little girl and the little boy and I love the detailing for example look at the floorboards they're all dilapidated and broken and you know the creepy window circular window that's often missing so be aware of that some really cool detailing on the back and then you come upstairs into the attic. More amazing detailing on this window with the boards. And the rarest piece. If you find your Weebles Haunted House doesn't have one of these, uh, you're going to have a hard time finding this one piece. Is the treasure chest filled with gold and, of course, some bats. And it locks and it opens up and it grooves in the attic. Really cool. All right. Let's work our way over here to the Widow's Walk which is a really fun uh, part of the toy. What you can do is actually take a Weeble and drop it into the next floor down. And here you find the Invisible Man grooving in the library, or not the library, The I guess it would be the living room maybe, by the fire. It's grooving by the fire. Now, this Invisible Man is not from this set, but it is compatible with the set. It was actually a premium that you could get by mailing in little proof of purchases from Scotch Tape, because it's the Invisible Tape. 
and you would get this as a little bonus to play with your Weebles haunted house. Um, these are really hard to come by, and this was actually gifted to me. I didn't know what it was, and then when I researched it, I couldn't believe it, which is what put me on the uh, quest and down the rabbit hole for the Weebles haunted house. All right, let's take a look at the contents of a complete Weebles haunted house. So it comes with four Weebles, a ghost, a witch, a scared little boy, and a scared little girl. Now, the ghost... They're really tough to get with the face still printed on the plastic. They were very uh, easy to rub off. They have a little sort of a cute face, smiling, kind of a Casper-like face. But uh, you can you can redraw them on. I like to leave it the way it is because it's, it's fine. And it came with four pieces of furniture. These are the correct colors. A lot of these pieces were from other sets and molded in different colored plastic. But if you want to be a completist, uh, the armchair is in blue, the bed is in green, and the... Ch uh, Chesterfield or the couch is in uh, brown. The other pieces to look out for are the, I'm going to come around the front of the Weebles Haunted House here, are of course the gate. This gate is really tough to get. It pops off and it gets lost. It's pretty much the one piece that no one ever finds. And this right here is the Widow's Walk. You can pop it off. I'm not going to do that, but it comes off. It has two parts, but it does not have a window. A lot of people think that it does. It does not have a window. And the reason why it doesn't is so you can put your little Weeble in there and have him fall outside the fireplace. So that's the Weeble's Haunted House. Uh, one of my favorite toys from the mid-70s by the Romper Room Toy Company. Uh, of course, Romper Room was an extremely popular children's show that ran for decades. Did they ever say your name on Romper Room when the hosts looked through the mirrors? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, I'm Mysterion. This is the Weebles Haunted House. Come on over and play. But remember, I always pick first.